Mine's a little different than I think what a lot of people assume. Everyone's like on Instagram, it's like, yo, CEO, like you got to be up 4 a.m. on the grind. What time do you butter your avocado toast? In the <laughs> so no breakfast. That actually saves time. Um, I don't have breakfast either. Yeah, I think it's a time saver. And it's also just <laughs> with this lifestyle, if you're eating that much food, it catches up to you. Um, but no, I, I typically start my day at eight. Um, it, it ranges. Um, but for me, I am anal about getting my eight hours of sleep. So if for some reason I'm at a client event or I had a rough night, I will sleep in until nine or 10. Um, and it's, I find that really, really important because I don't think I can function properly. I know, and I don't, to put that in perspective, I don't use any caffeine or any other supplements. Um, and so like, I just, cause I found that, okay, I, I can sleep coffee either. That's weird. I yeah, well, I found if I slept like less than eight hours, I found myself a little groggy and then I would try and use coffee to supplement and continue through the day. Hmm. But I found that my, I don't know, my productivity was there, but my ability to do a uh, high level thinking struggled. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was my biggest thing. And so I found that actually in university and it basically became my regiment. Like I eight hours, no matter what. And so that typically works out to me any my night around midnight and then getting back up around eight. Um, once I'm up, I don't typically get on the road for about an hour or two, two reasons. I absolutely detest traffic. Like I sitting in traffic makes me so, so, so mad. So I'll usually start my day where I have a fair number of emails, texts and phone calls to make. So I'll get those done either sitting in the kitchen, even sometimes I'm sitting in my room and I'll just be like blasting them off. Um, and then usually I don't set my first appointment, my in-person meeting appointment until 10. So mm-hmm. I'll usually leave the house around, I'll leave the house around 9.45 sort of thing uh, to get to that. And then I'll start going through it. I've gotten better in time now. I used to stack a lot of appointments throughout the day. I'm starting to kind of sp- spread them out a little bit more because what was happening when I first started was I'd have appointments from like 9 until 8 p.m. And I'd never touch a computer in that time because I physically couldn't. Right. And then I'd spend from 8 till midnight on paperwork. Right. So now I'm trying to spread things out a little bit more and do a little bit more forward planning. And so I'll usually have a few appointments. I'll try and leave open a lunch break because I wasn't eating lunch for a long time either. I was getting home at 8, not having had any oh, food. Oh, man. That's what kills you about this job, man. Yeah. It kills. Right? Yeah. So and I'm trying to avoid stopping in at yeah. a fast food place or something <laughs> like that. Um, I don't avoid that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So then I, I would get those few appointments uh, done, spend some time. I also want to get to the office. I mean, there's a team at the office. I want to make sure everyone's getting through their stuff. They probably have questions for me so I can get in for at least a couple hours, get a few things done there. Um, and then same thing in the afternoon. Usually I plan a few in the early afternoon and try and cut it off um, pre four. And then if I need to do something again at like six or seven, because again, th- that traffic hour around four it just makes everything that shouldn't take long take forever. Like, for example, yesterday I had a showing uh, after 4.30 or something. And to get from here to there it took 40 minutes when it should have only taken me like 12 to 15. And so I spent an extra 30 minutes sitting in traffic, which is super valuable time that I can't really be doing anything. And Like, I shouldn't, I mean, texting and driving shouldn't be doing it. Ends up happening a bit because you're just like, I'm there for so long. The phone's buzzing away. Um, it's, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's just that ends up forcing it. Once I get home, I usually then I'll have obviously my dinner, uh, gym. I try and always get the gym in there. Um, but typically I'll do the work first and then gym last. So I'll do a bit of work, close out whatever I need to close out, and then I'll go to the gym around 9, 10 o'clock, hit, hit that, and then I call that my night typically. I don't usually do much after that. I'll respond to some text messages. But that time from 10 till midnight, I try to make that my personal time. I wasn't getting that for a long time, and now I'm making a big effort to try and recapture that because what I was realizing is not only do I need that personal time to decompress and relax, it also was the time for me to think about forward thinking where, where I want to grow the businesses. I found if I didn't give myself that time, I got into this relentless cycle of like, okay, now I'm just crushing out deals all day. And I never thought about like, okay, what's the next step, yeah. right? Like, okay, now I want to go buy a building, but I never yeah, had that stuck opportunity. Yeah, in the, in the conveyor right? belt. Even as, like to start this, like I never had the opportunity to spend the time to think about this until I started implementing, okay, I got two hours a day there. That's free free time for me to think. When 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 I was broke I had rich habits. Uh. When I was broke I had rich habits.